and welcome to another vlog. I know I missed an upload, but it is what it is. I'm still sick, so yay me. But for today's vlog, I think I'm just gonna be tidying up my office, getting all my cords under my desk situated. I did get some stuff from Sheen that finally came in. I ordered this before my last order when I did the Sheen haul, but it did finally come in. It was just a bunch of office stuff. So I plan on doing that. I'm very excited to do that. I am trying so hard to organize my cords. Sorry, I'm just looking at my cat. What is she up to? But yeah, because I'm still sick, I'm just gonna be taking it easy today. So I'm just gonna do like the bare minimum. And to be honest, my house is also a disaster. I wrote myself a to-do list, but I don't know how much of it I'm going to get gone, gone, done. Simply because I am slowly dying. But with that being said, let's just jump right into this cord organization situation. Get this desk tidied up and looking cute. So let me show you guys some of the things that I got for my desk organization. I got this long tube thing. I believe you cut it to size once you're done trying like putting your cords in it and it's supposed to like keep them all organized and it like opens up so you can tuck the cords in. I'm not holding my breath on the quality of this just because it feels very, very... <coughs> Here's the current state of just under my desk. Like I said, I'm not really holding my breath that this is gonna work for everything because there are some things in here that I'm not going to be putting in this. I just kind of mainly want to consolidate the bigger cords. And this alone is kind of small. So let's try to figure this out. I kind of feel a little dumb now um, because I figured out what this clip thing was for and it would have made my life a whole lot easier. So the clip isn't to clip to anything in specific, it's to help get the cords in this thing. Because then you could put the cords in there and like spread it to open it. And I'm just like, wow, Heather, wow. So there's that. I'm gonna actually try to tidy up the cords a little bit more here and just put like a small section on these ones just so it's not like hanging down so much and just, just kind of tidy up the mess that I have with this new cord thing. But I don't know if it would work with this specific set of cords just because there's no like end to them maybe. That's as good as it's going to get. I know I'm like not in frame now. And so yeah, this is as good as it's gonna get. And you know, I think it looks a lot better than just kind of hanging all over the place. And for cheap cord organization, can't really ask for much more. What? Hi, Mel Mel. Wanna say hi, Lily? Wanna say hi? You look good, Lily. And I still have a lot of tube I could use. And yeah, I looked under my desk. I'm not so sure I can use the other thing I bought just because there's like a drawer under here. And to be honest, none of this stuff came with directions. So I'm kind of just going off pictures and I'm just not so sure. Like, what do I do? I know, I gotta do some more research on this one before I start attaching my cords to it because I'm a bit sus. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. Are you buzz cat? <laughs> buzz cat? <laughs> no belly. If you don't want belly pet, why expose belly? Hmm? Why no pets? You got bunny kick me? Got bunny kick me? Flip massage? <laughs> 
<clears throat> hey Lily, we might have to sell your feet pictures. What do you think? Yeah. No, no. Oh, no pet. He's a good cat. Good cat. Further inspection of this cord organizer that I got on Sheen. Um, I don't think I currently need this just because a lot of my cords are kind of just what I use. I know that doesn't make sense. Um, a lot of them are like my phone charger, my uh, MagSafe, my Apple Home, and they kind of just go from the power strip up here. Let me just show you. So for the cords, obviously the ones that are really bulky and big, I managed to get in there. That is my Tortoise um, USB drive thing. Uh, and that is the LED which is hooked to the TARDIS thing. That is the charger uh, cable, the cord, power cord for my laptop. And then one of this is my Apple Home as well as my MagSafe. And then obviously my computer and stuff is plugged into it. And I just can't really see myself just attaching this to here just to have those cords go up, around, and then back that way. Like, everything is just kind of already pushed back far enough where I'm not going to be kicking it and turning off the power cord by mistake. The cords are still a little bit annoying, but it's better than it was. Like, all the, the two main bulky ones are nicely secured into this cord holder, and I managed to put all the extra port cords in there as well with a smaller section. Overall, I am happy with that. I do want to put this on my desk that I got, like the little cord holder. I want to put it like right here so when I'm not charging my phone I can set the cords, the like plug-in cords like right into here and just let it hang. Just because my desk is so full of just cords and stuff as it is, I figured maybe this would make my life a little easier. If you guys have any ideas for cord storage. Let me know down in the comments below. If not, if you've even made it this far, leave a Christmas tree emoji just because it's Vlogmas. And let me know that you're still here. So I kind of have a change of heart when it came to this little mechanism thing. I decided not to put this on my desk because I really don't want more cords hanging than there has to be. So I might put this in the back and have the cords just separated with this or something I'll figure out something for this but I did want to talk about one of the other things I got and this has kind of gone viral on TikTok and yes this is from Sheen um but I originally saw it on TikTok I saw it on Instagram reels so I picked one up and now these are for mechanical keyboards which I do not have yet but like you push the button and it turns into like this little fuzzy thing and you can clean your keyboards now this this part works with any keyboards I'm gonna set you guys down real quick. That way I can talk to you a little bit better. So this part would work with any kind of keyboard. You basically just, this is mine. <laughs> it's pink as always. You guys know I really like pink. And I'm gonna turn it off. And what you do is you basically just dust it like that. And it gets all like the cat hair and dust on it. And then when you're not using it, obviously you can pop it back in. This is a screen cleaner on the side. Sorry for my gross nails, but uh, they all kind of chipped off. This is gel polish, and my, my fingers kept getting caught on the twisty thing that I was wrapping my cords in. But this part is for cleaning the screens of your laptops, your computers. I've not used it yet, but I guess you attach like a cloth to it or something, and you just kind of wipe it. Inside it, they have a mechanism to remove mechanical keyboard keys. You guys can see it in focus. And then it has a thing in it for you to put like screen cleaner and I thought this was really cool and this kind of reminds me of a pocket knife and I haven't had a pocket knife since oh, I was, I don't know, maybe 10, 11? But this opens up into like a multiple unit cleaner and you can clean like ports from the dust as well as like headphones and all that fun stuff. Sorry, it's not focusing. And I thought this was really cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. Now, I'm not saying you guys have to go to Sheen and buy it. I know there's some controversy going on with Sheen and I'm learning all about it. And to be honest, a lot of the stuff that I originally buy is made in China. So, but I don't know much about like the working conditions people are in. So if I offended anyone, I'm truly sorry. 
I just kind of see cute things and I buy them. But maybe I should be a little more conscious about that. Just because it's affordable and cheap doesn't mean I need it or have to buy it from China. I don't know, I like their products, I do. But if it's hurting people, obviously I don't want to support that. But I'm gonna do my own research when it, sorry, I'm just trying to close this. I'm gonna do my own research on it and see everything I can learn about Sheen. Because like I said, I don't want to inflict harm on anyone. I have this saying where, be kind and do no harm. That is something I live by my whole life. I'm not always nice to everyone because obviously there's like a certain point where you just can't be. Um, another thing I wanted to show you guys that I got from Sheen and I am sorry for those who hate Sheen. It's a tissue box but it also holds your phone and it makes it like a cute little TV. I thought this was so cute. Isn't this adorable? Now I did have some problems assembling this, which is no one's fault, probably but my own. Oh, the cat's being weird. And I broke every single leg trying to put them on, and so I had to super glue it together. And in the back there is the tissue box holder or tissues. I figured that putting the actual tissues in here, other than the box, clearly this doesn't hold a tissue box, because like really. So obviously you would have to take the tissues out of the box or just buy them separately and put them in here. But I thought this was so cute. It was supposed to be pink, but it kind of looks orange. But I'm okay with that. Maybe red? Is this red or orange? Can you guys see it? Red, orange, or pink? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, there's that's my little tangent. I am currently watching Heather Mack on YouTube. She's one of my new favorite vloggers, or what is she? She, uh, yeah, she's a vlogger. And I'll link her down below or something if you guys want to check her out too. Because I have like a list of vloggers and YouTubers that I watch every day through Vlogmas. I haven't missed, well, oh no, I missed one day. Obviously, you can binge watch creators. And that's why I love when people comment on my videos because I'm just like, I love you guys so much. And yeah, I've been talking for like five minutes, but I'm gonna continue watching this. I'm not going to install this. So two out of the three things I bought are completely useless. Yay me. I mean, they were less than a dollar, so it's not that big of a loss. And yes, I could return them. I'll find a use though. I always do. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's a bit later in the day. It is currently 3.56. Tyler got home about an hour ago. I am feeling under the weather and my head hurts so bad. Ugh, good vibes, good vibes. Ugh. But I'm gonna rest for a bit because later we are gonna be watching Wednesday, maybe doing a gingerbread house, something. I don't know, something festive other than just feeling sick. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and thank you so much for coming back for another one. I hope you're enjoying them as much as I'm enjoying doing Vlogmas. I, like I said, I know I missed one upload, but I'll make it up to you guys. I promise I will do 12 videos. I promise. Future self, you do win this, girl. You do win this. But yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.